ready. Stand by. It's Saturday, March 18th. It's a little bit past 0830. I'm at the base of the canyon on the way to Burrow Canyon Shooting Park to attend the NRA ARM held by Forward Assist Training Group. It's that match that I've uh, blogged about and I've been to in past range vlogs. It's a nice casual match to attend. Uh, it's good for beginners and it's a great venue for anyone who wants to just try out shooting their AR off of a bench in a more practical style run and gun type environment. Um, haven't been shooting much at all lately. My only range vlog so far for this year was back in February. Um, I've been really busy at work, which has resulted in me being a little bit lazy because I've just been, haven't had the energy to go out and shoot so or go to the range. So that's why I finally forced myself to attend this match, so to speak. And what I was hoping to do is a couple of non-shooting events because uh, there's a this weekend there's a retro or a vintage arcade expo going on this weekend that in Banning California they have some retro pinball machines or vintage pinball machines and vintage arcade machines it's free play you pretty much buy or pay for a ticket and you buy in for all day or for the three-day weekend or Friday Saturday Sunday and you pretty much walk in and play all the games you want all day uh, for free play and uh, obviously today Saturday I can't attend and um, Sunday tomorrow I may not be able to make it so I don't know I'm hoping to get out there but anyway headed up to Burrow Canyon Shooting Park to go shoot in this match um, hopefully it should be a good time as far as stages are concerned it's a, again I've, like I said before it's a casual match it's not too serious it's great for beginners and people who don't really shoot matches it's a nice way for them to experience non bench rest style shooting uh, with their rifles. I brought a bunch of the 55 grain ammo that I was using for that test article I wrote last year. Um, when I was doing my end of year cleaning, I bundled all my ammo that I don't really shoot into this one big box. And so I brought this box out here and I'm gonna shoot all of all this 55 grain stuff. It's a mix of Wolf Gold, PMC, Independent slash IMI, some IMI, and then some other off-brand. Oh, so I got Winchester 55 grain as well. So I'm gonna shoot all this up today. And I don't need to readjust zero because point of impact, point of aim isn't going to be much difference uh, between the different ammo types, manufacturers at 50 yards and up. So it's not going to be a big deal, 50 or 50 yards and close. So no need to re zero for that. Just shoot it up and it'll be fine. All right, guys, five more minutes. Five more minutes and uh, rally up on top over here. We'll kind of go over the safety briefs and the course of fire for today's match. Now, uh, Will, did everybody get a raffle card? Everybody got a raffle? 
When you sign in, everybody got their offer. Good, good. We got some great sponsors. We got a lot of sponsors that's doing a lot of cool stuff. NC Star, CRPA, Turner's did, you know, uh, Strike Industries. So along with prizes for the top winners of the categories, we also are going to do random raffle drawings too. We'll probably take a little break. Shooter ready? Ready? Shooter 
ready? Stand by! Before I forget, I wanted to give a shout out to Ford Assist Training. They're the ones who hosted the NRA. They host the NRA matches here at uh, Borough Canyon. And everyone who competes or enters and, and shoots in their NRA ARM, they walk away with some free stuff. So they gave away these NC Star knapsacks or little bags. And inside they give away, um, these got some pamphlets and literature and, and t-shirts. Uh, these are Brownells. And uh, they also, at the end of the match, gave away some Hawaiian bread and some snacks. So it's really cool on the NT, the uh, Ford Assist guys, but it's really nice that they have this very beginners type match to get people out shooting uh, the AR-15 in a in a very uh, casual yet uh, formal setting because they want you to get used to range commands and stuff, and learning how to run and gun with an AR-15 without you know uh, you know being unsafe. So they want to be, teach you how to be safe while doing it. So it's really good that they're promoting you know, the shooting sports and make sure that the competitors walk away happy because they got some free stuff. And um, if they won the raffle, uh, they actually had a raffle. I didn't film it, but um, I actually got a hat out of that. So I have a condor hat and a patch in my my uh, my backpack. So yeah, really cool on NC Stars, or uh, sorry, Ford Assist part for giving away some free swag to the uh, competitors. So I, I exited the range and I pulled off on the side of the canyon. There's a turnout where some people like to take photos um, on the edge of the canyon uh, at the river but anyway I needed a quiet place to just discuss a few things to close out this vlog but pretty much the match went well the the event was smooth the stages were nice uh, they weren't too hard but they were not too well a couple were fairly easy as far as I'm concerned but they weren't very difficult at all so I, again for beginners it's a very good venue and stages of fire are excellent for those people who need to learn how to shoot Practical style shooting off the bench, uh, you know, not on a bench, but f away from a bench. So how do sh how do you utilize a rifle in uh, run and gun scenarios? Anyway, um, a couple things that I'm, I'm caught some footage. Maybe put I'll put them in. I may I might have put them in this vlog before this ending. But what I did notice were a lot of these folks who came out to shoot. They're not very. I mean, it's one thing to not know how to shoot this kind of match, but you need to follow instructions very really well. I mean, you pay attention to what the range, uh, the range officer says, what the stage officer says, as far as the course of fire. You need to pay attention to those things. They have the courses of fire laid out for you on a piece of paper or on a, on a board. So you need to, need to follow those things very clearly, you know, very uh, precisely. I mean, obviously things like uh, using your safety when you're coming off of the you know, coming off of the target when you're transitioning from from firing point to firing point during the stage of fire, if it's a dynamic stage of fire, you need to you need to put your safety on. I mean, a lot of people say, "Oh, you don't need to do that in real life." Well, you know what? It's just for safety rules. If they say put your safety on when you step off from the uh, the shooting point, you need to go ahead and put your safety on. Uh, I mean, little things. You know, making sure you keep your finger off the trigger when you're um, moving from firing to point to firing point. Um, even if you're um, using a barricade and you're trying to come around the barricade, you need to keep your finger off the trigger and put the safety on. So little things like that. Um, just I've noticed that people just aren't paying attention to. Um, it's one thing not to n not have done it before, but you need to pick these things up because, I mean, this mean this is critical in order to you know maintain range range safety and and whatnot. So anyway, that being said. It was a good match. It was quick. It's only uh, 1400 right now, so it was fairly smooth. It probably would have been shorter if they didn't break for lunch in the raffle, but, I mean, the raffle was nice that, you know, they gave away some more stuff to folks, and I got a free hat out of it. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this range vlog. Really not much to talk about. It was a fairly straightforward range visit and, um, and match. 
As far as when I might be shooting again, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I might, I want to go out to the West End Gun Club to start shooting a few, uh, shooting off a few of these old rounds that I've, I've cleaned up. As I mentioned earlier in this video, um, my New Year's cleanup, I, I found a bunch of ammo that I don't really have guns for. Like I have a, I have a lot of 40 Smith and Wesson ammo, but I don't, I only have one 40 gun left and that's my Glock 27, which is a subcompact. So it's not really gonna be fun to shoot that all the time or like at the range, I just go there just to shoot the G27. But I may make a trip out of it and just throw all these, this ammo, like this 40 cal, a lot of 12 gauge uh, target loads and whatnot. I'm gonna take those to the range one day and just shoot them up. And so I'm thinking about doing that sometime soon. A lot of the matches at the Santa Margarita Gun Club have been canceled, so I haven't gone to shoot any mid-range matches. So I'm the next match I, that probably will be fairly uh, confident as far as it's not going to get preempted by anything would be a long-range match. So I might go out and shoot some long-range 3x1000 next month. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Today is March 18th, if I remember correctly. Yes, March 18th, Saturday. I'm, at Bur I'm leaving Burrow Canyon Shooting Park. Uh, that's it for this range vlog. Um, I'll see you next time. Did I hit the second? What's up? Did I hit second? You get them all, dude. Okay. I didn't hear it.